Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best Budget Portable Monitor. Starting at number 5. Lapau Portable Monitor. If you need a simple and cheap portable monitor, the Lapau Z1 is a decent choice. It's similar to the ViewSonic VG1655 because it also displays a narrow color gamut in SDR, so its picture quality isn't anything special. Also, only one of its USB-C ports supports DisplayPort Alt Mode, as opposed to both ports supporting it like on the ViewSonic. It supports HDR as well, which the ViewSonic monitor doesn't support, but that doesn't add much because of its limited picture quality in HDR. It gets slightly brighter and has better reflection handling than the ViewSonic, which is nice, but it still isn't bright enough to use in a well-lit environment. It comes with a foldable stand that lets you adjust it to three different angles, and it doubles as a protective case for the screen when carrying it around. Despite being a low-cost portable monitor, it still has okay build quality with a solid frame that doesn't flex easily. Coming at number 4. ViewSonic VG165-15. When getting into budget portable monitors, you can't expect good performance and picture quality as these displays are really meant to give you extra screen real estate more than anything else. If that's what you want, the ViewSonic VG1655 is an alright, budget-friendly portable monitor with a much more narrow color gamut than the ASUS ProArt PA148 CTV. This means it doesn't display as many colors, and while it's fine for browsing through the web or reading documents, you won't get lifelike images when watching videos. Besides that, it has a slightly larger 15.6-inch screen than the ASUS, and it still displays sharp text thanks to its high pixel density. It has one mini HDMI port and two USB-C ports, and they even support power delivery up to 60W with a power source connected to the monitor. This means you can even use it to charge smaller laptops and only have one power cable between your portable monitor and laptop. At number 3. ASUS ProArt Display If you don't want the ASUS ROG Strix XG16 AHPE for gaming and don't need all the Espresso Display 15 touches high-end features, check out a mid-range option like the ASUS ProArt PA148 CTV. It performs similarly to the Espresso monitor, but there are some trade-offs for the cheaper price tag. While it has a touchscreen like the Espresso monitor, it isn't as responsive and doesn't work with macOS devices, meaning you can't use the touchscreen if you want to connect to your MacBook. If you don't need something with a touchscreen, the Lenovo ThinkVision M14 is another alternative that costs less and performs similarly, but it has worse overall picture quality. Like the Espresso monitor, the Asus has two USB-C ports that you can use to connect your devices, and it also has a micro HDMI port, which is helpful if you have an older laptop with HDMI but not USB-C. It has a few advantages over the Espresso, especially if you want to use it in a well-lit environment, as it has decent peak brightness and much better reflection handling. It even has excellent accuracy before calibration, producing lifelike images. Number 2 of my list Asus ROG Strix 15 Although portable gaming monitors are less common than portable monitors for work, you can still find some options if you want a high refresh rate for gaming on the go. The ASUS ROG Strix XG16 AHPE is a great choice for mobile gaming or if you need something on the side of your main gaming monitor. It's better than the Espresso Display 15 Touch for gaming because it has a faster response time, resulting in crystal clear motion with almost no noticeable blur behind fast-moving objects. It even has a 7800 mAh battery, lasting nearly three hours of gaming. It supports FreeSync variable refresh rate technology with GSYNC compatibility, ensuring a nearly tear-free gaming experience from almost any source. It has a 144Hz refresh rate, which is high enough for casual gaming, but if you want something with a higher 240Hz refresh rate, the ASUS ROG Strix XG17 AHPE is a good alternative. However, it costs more, so only consider it if you're going to take full advantage of the high refresh rate. 
and number one.